What is up everyone, this is Diamond12 here, and welcome back to some more Splatoon gameplay. But this is not so much about the gameplay, what I really wanted to talk about in this video was my thoughts about um, the um, Smash Bros. announcement and the Nintendo E3 Digital Advent. Advent? No, Event. Um, so, um, first of all, I thought the uh, Smash Brothers thing was amazing. We got great stuff there. Like, we got three new characters. We got Ryu, Roy, Lucas. Amazing. Like, who would expect Ryu to get in there? Now, obviously, we already kind of knew because, you know, there were some leaks and stuff, which uh, kind of toned down hype a bit, which was kind of unfortunate. But, um,. Yeah, it, it was still it was still very hype seeing the trailer and stuff like that. It was just great, and of course there was Roy. Roy is our boy, you know it. And uh, I'm so happy that he's actually back in this game. And surprisingly, he's actually much much better than in melee. Um, and, uh, he's much better than Marth as well. Like he is probably um, the best Fire Emblem character in the game. Um, I mean, rubbing kind of comes close, but I think Roy, I think Roy has potential to actually be the best um, right now because I don't really see any other uh, Fire Emblem character taking that. But um, yeah, definitely loving the hell out of Roy right now. He is amazing uh, in this game, and I, I, I just love the whole Smash Brothers uh, thing as well. So yeah, that was great. It was fantastic. It was a lot of hype. Uh, we saw amazing um, trailers, some gameplay, it was fantastic, we saw Sakurai with his amiibo collection, <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, and of course there were more costumes and stuff like that, which is, which is fun, you know, for people that love it, um, I, I'm, I'm not myself, I don't really go for the amiibo costumes all that much, but for the people that like the amiibo costumes, well there you go, now you have some more amiibo costumes that you can have. Uh, I believe there was Mega Man again, as well as some other stuff um, uh, that I don't know. There was like Hayahachi from uh, Tekken, which was like representing, you know, the whole Street Fighter cross Tekken thing. I guess I guess that's why they had him in or something. I don't know, but um, there was definitely a lot of hype uh, in that um, whole um, whole part. I uh, really did enjoy it. Um, so uh, I'm definitely going to do uh, some full glories uh, for Roy, uh, Ryu and Lucas um, as well as I still need to do Mewtwo which I will do eventually um, I just need to get, get, get a little bit better uh, as them I, 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 I think I can do Roy pretty well because I think I've already you know kind of um, well I won't say master it but I know how to use him right now so um, yeah, he's definitely a lot of fun. Um, so I'm definitely gonna do a um, full glory for him probably first. Then I'm gonna probably move um, to uh, some of the requests that I've got because I've still got two requests going from where. Um, or what was it? I, uh, Shulk and Olimar. Or Elf. I think I'm gonna use Elf because I can't stand Olimar. Elf is, Elf is a lot better. Oh! Yeah, but anyway. Um, yeah, and then after that, I'll probably do the rest of the DLC characters uh, unless people have some more requests, but uh, we will see just then. So um, I am definitely going to record them uh, probably after I've narrated this. So uh, yeah, you guys are gonna see a lot of videos coming up. Um, this week and probably next week as well. Maybe I'm gonna try and get a little bit more active right now because I do have uh, a very nice long break. So that is good. That is fantastic. Um, I'm gonna try and upload some more Splatoon for you guys as well. So yeah, um, you guys, you guys can expect that coming to you soon as well. All right. So um, the Smash Brothers thing we have had, we've all, we've pretty much that was pretty much it with the Smash Brothers thing. It was all hype, was great, loved it. But then, then there was um, of course the, uh, some other E3s. Um, there was Microsoft first of all, um, which uh, they had backwards compatibility, which um, I did not expect. I really didn't expect, and I think that is very a very good step for uh, Microsoft. Um, uh, I, I have no interest in getting an Xbox One, 
um, until probably next year because then Gears 4 comes out and um, you know uh, I think Tomb Raider comes out but I think that also comes for PS4 because of the later date so that's definitely a game I want to keep getting um, but other than that it wasn't really much um, for me um, from uh, Microsoft uh, but the backwards compatibility is nice because I do have an Xbox 360 with some Xbox 360 game which means I could probably just sell my Xbox 360 and keep my games that I like and play them on Xbox One so I that, that's a good that's a good step from Microsoft that's one good thing from Microsoft I did like that um, about the thing they, uh, they didn't lose it completely although um, I must say Sony was was definitely better they there are a lot of better games in my opinion um, like they had uh, Uncharted 4 for example Uncharted 4 was great and I had for all the Final Fantasy fans they had that there was a remake or something um, and um, for the first time there was Call of Duty on PlayStation um, a lot of hype of people were that and uh, there was a lot of stuff um, it was like the game called Lars Guardian that looked pretty cool as well, there were some other games that I can't remember the top of my head, but uh, I remember liking Sony's um, Sony's games that were they showed me. So um, yeah, that, that was that was pretty cool. Um, so they definitely have potential to win this, but of course we still have some others. We had like Ubisoft as well, uh, which uh, brought some brought some good games, so the Creed stuff like that. It was, it was pretty good for the people that like that. Um, I, I do like some Maya and Creed and uh, things like that. Um, what, what else did they have? They, they had some good, they got some good stuff, like a game called For Honor that looked pretty interesting. Um, although it's not really a game you guys probably would enjoy. Well, it depends really, but I don't, I, I mean, you guys are coming here for the Nintendo stuff, but yeah, I mean, that's just that. But um, yeah, the Ubisoft uh, did show some pretty nice things, uh, but there were just a lot of Tom Clancy's games. Um, that they shown, they shown uh, the division and Rainbow Six Siege, and then there was one other one which I kind of forgot the name of. I'm sorry, but I, I just can't remember all of those names. But um, yeah, that's what I know. They had a they had a performance um, as well by oh I can't remember his name, uh, Jason Delugo, so, so something like that. I can't remember the name completely, but um, I think he's a rapper or something. Uh, song I I actually don't remember but um, it was it was for Just Dance and uh, I mean it's, it wasn't really necessary in my opinion but I it was cool I guess I and mean, that was that so you had EA also before that and there was a bunch of sports game and um, Star Wars Battlefront and that's pretty much the only thing that was there that wasn't really anything interesting to me um, I think EA probably lost that like by a long shot. However, then you would expect the best to come, right? Nintendo. Nintendo come. Okay. So they started with a bang. They started with showing Star Fox. And it's like, oh wow, so Star Fox it looks pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty hype, pretty hype. Um and that was pretty cool. Um, they had like this really weird puppet. Uh Iwada and Reggie and so I was it was pretty funny it was pretty funny to see I did laugh uh, quite a bit while watching that um, but uh, other than Star Fox like there was there were games that we already knew about like Xenoblade Chronicles a Fire Emblem game uh, we already knew about that so there wasn't really anything interesting it was cool to see some more gameplay of it but uh, yeah that's about it and then uh, there was a Zelda game, which looked pretty cool. I uh, must say that was probably one of the better points of the Nintendo Rarek. Um, had uh, of the three players online, a Zelda game online. Now that is pretty hype. I must say that is definitely great. I I think I will definitely, most definitely buy that. I don't know why I'm saying words over and over again, but um, yes. Anyway, the Zelda game looked pretty fun. It was like. Uh, something Zelda Triforce, Triforce something. I, I, I don't, I don't remember. It was not very memorable because honestly, I'm just gonna say it right now. The direct kind of sucked because they, they didn't show us that was amazing. That they, they didn't deliver the boom. 
um, as I did in uh, pre previous things. Like, um, I think previous year they released, uh, or they had a Mario Kart DLC, which was pretty hype. Uh, actually, no, that was that was not Mario Kart DLC, it was something different. It was something with Smash Brothers, but it was definitely a lot more hype than, than this year, because uh, honestly they didn't really show much. Um, they had Splatoon last year, I mean, that was pretty cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, they also had a Met new Metroid game, and then you're like, oh, new Metroid game, finally, yes, Metroid. And then it's on 3DS. And it was kind of meh from the looks of it. Obviously, I haven't played it, haven't seen much of it, so I can't fully say anything about it yet, but it didn't really feel like Metroid to me. It more felt like... <sighs> it felt like a... A, a new kind of franchise or something, but that was like kind of like Metroid. But there, there was it didn't really scream out Metroid at first until they showed the title, and there was like a mini game of Blast Ball or something. But uh, yeah, and then there was a Paper Mario or Mario and Luigi a crossover that looked really really hype. Though that was definitely getting that, but that 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 was pretty much it. They, they show Mario Maker, we knew about that, and that was that was pretty much it. That was the direct, that was the digital event. That that's that's what they shown games, and that that was it. That was, that was just that was just it. And I was disappointed. I was really disappointed. I was really hoping for something crazy like a new Pokemon game, a new. Uh, I don't know, like uh, I, a Pokemon game for Wii U that they would show in Pokemon Pokemon Tournament uh, that they would release that on Wii U. And maybe a new F Zero game. Um, I know they said they uh, one didn't want to show anything from Zelda Wii U, but maybe that would have been actually a better choice because no, there there was nothing. There was nothing for me. I I I didn't get the boom. I did. I there was no not much excitement for me. So um, the digital event was a disappointment to me. So yeah, I I, th I actually think that the Smash Brothers thing was more hype than this. So it was a disappointment. But hey, whatever can you do? I I don't know. It's, Maybe Nintendo uh, is like holding back on some stuff and they're gonna release that later in a Nintendo Direct. I don't know, but I have no hi real, real, real hype for anything that they shown uh, at the digital event. So I was quite disappointed. But um, yeah, that's about it. Um, I'm already over the gameplay and just been talking here about the digital event. Like, uh, I mean, I had to, I had to get this on my chest because it really, it really bothered me. You know, I really hope Nintendo um, watches some of these videos. You know, obviously they're probably not gonna watch my videos, but um, hopefully Nintendo s sees that it was a disappointment and they should really bring something soon to make up for it. So. Uh, that's all. 